back to winemastery.co.uk. My name is John Lightfoot. This is John Murphy. And we're here in our second episode in a row talking about gin. And not only are we talking about gin in the second episode in a row, we're also talking about the same gin. If you look at the previous episode, I was at, had the great pleasure of being at Steampunk uh, Gin Distillery uh, tasting their divine products. And that was a little bit of a pun there for Ray. Uh, <laughs> intentional. <laughs> and Charlie, uh, the proprietor of Steam, wanted John to have a taste, so I thought, why not, why not record it? So here we are, and the first one we're going to taste is what they call their uh, Steampunk Gin Pirate, Pirate Gin, which is their strongest gin. So mm. we're going to give that a go first. Yeah, well, first of all, I'm going to say thank you very much, Charlie. Um, I always look forward to gin episodes, and John told me a lot about this, so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting stuck in. So, the, the strongest one first. The strongest one first. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Now, I know that Charlie recommends you drink this um, as, uh, as you would a malt, so just neat. Because mm -hmm. um, it's strong enough, but he feels that one of the things that he's he feels his, his gin. I agree with him when I tasted it. is very smooth, so you can actually take the strong the stronger version, which this this is. Mm. Well, I've always been a big believer of trying uh, gin neat. Anyway, I love that. Just a block of ice, like uh, just as you would do a whiskey. Because uh, I personally think you can pull more flavours uh, from that uh, before kind of adding the tonic. Because that can, like, it can change it quite a lot. Can can, can the tonic? So. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're having this neat, and apparently you have a new way of tasting. Yeah, so Charlie taught me this new way of, it's all in the finger. It's <laughs> all in the finger. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to ask no questions about that, John. Right, right. So you just get the gin, and you put your finger, submerge your finger in the gin. Yep, yep. Take it out, just get the surplus off, wave it about a bit to get... <laughs> Are you, are you mocking me? No. Are you mocking me? Waving a bit to get the sort of the alcohol off a little bit, and um. then you just put it down the sides of your tongue and then on the top of your tongue. Yeah. I need another drop, I think. Kind of. Yeah, I can understand. Because it doesn't sort of saturate you that way. You're, you're just looking at the, it's literally the taste you're getting rather than. Yeah, there's not a, the, the alcohol no. burn isn't there, no. is it? Because of that. Oh, and it is really. It's really quite crisp and lemony. It is. Really, yeah. Yeah, refreshing, very refreshing. Consider it's neat, because, you know... Mm. Um, well, yeah, I can, but I think that, that's helping, isn't it? It just takes, takes the alcohol burn off. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so and you wear drinking gin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah, like you share a bit dip, isn't it? But no, no, I've never... Well, that's a, that is a very interesting thing. Yeah. Thank you very much, Charlie. I'll do that more often. Oh, no, honest, that is good, good. Okay. So... Obviously, without that alcohol burning there, it has made it. All I'm getting from that is some real kind of citrusy sharpness. Mm. But, uh, I say refreshing as well. So, can, can you? Are we allowed to drink it? We are allowed yes, to drink it. Yes, of course we are. Yeah, of course we are. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Even, even. Nathan, this is forty-five percent. Yeah. Oof. Just come back a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> you can definitely just at the end there, yeah. Mm. But it's a long while before it actually hits it you. Is isn't it is. That's, that's warming. Yeah. But not too much. No. Half of me has that pepperiness, that which the alcohol is introducing there. But it's still a citrus, an oily citrin, citrin, citrusiness. Citrusiness. Citrus. It's a very difficult to say after. Citrusiness. No, citrusiness. Yeah, that comes through quite strong. But the nice thing about that is that I know I've talked about this before in, in uh, gin. Sometimes it had to be, especially when you're drinking it, it has a soapiness. Yes. That doesn't have that soapiness no. there. No. No. Mm, not, not at all. And it's very, I, I just, you know, I feel my mouth palate it feels very clean, fresh, and the taste mm. is still there. So it's got quite a bit of length compared yeah. to some to some gins. Mm, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, yeah and I, I could drink that neat happily. Yeah. So could I, for sure. Yeah. Well, we are doing. I'm just seeing if we get anything because that was the first one. And nothing on the second. It's, it's, it's to tad floral as well, so it comes through a little bit more. For me, it's a little bit flowery. Mm. Well, obviously, there are some secret ingredients that um, Charlie didn't mention for obvious mm. reasons. Okay. Uh, but I, I know that he does put, uh, he did mention he puts in lemon, grapefruits, uh, and orange uh, peel. Yeah. It's part of the basic, uh, but there are a few other. I can definitely get that kind of, I say, the oranginess in there. Mm. I think that is an, an oily kind of 
oiliness as well. Some f strange words we're using <laughs> <laughs> on this day, but no, no, no. That, yeah, okay. So far, so good. I'm. Uh, yeah. Are we impressed with that? Mm. Excellent. I'm, I'm, and I'm very impressed with the new technique of tasting. Yeah, it is very good. Mm. It is. It is. So, Charlie, rather, out. rather concerning. I've just noticed mine's got lipstick on. My <laughs> and that's what you're thought this time. <laughs> that's, that's mine. I think Kathy must have been uh, drinking this prior to me. Mm. So. Um, Yes. I right, so my, shit, my, <laughs> my turn to apologise for. Uh, no, you're out. So find out. Uh, <laughs> Would you give it to me? Yes, indeed. Yes. Mm. No, cracking. Okay, super. Right. Well, we're going to move on now to the flavoured gins. Now, I, I think uh, that there are there are two. We've got a, a Florence and we have a Prudence. Uh, Prudence, I believe, is is the rose the rose taste. Okay. And and uh, Palma Violets is the Florence. So which one should we go for first? Rose. rose. I would say rose, rose, yeah, because that is, I am assuming that the rose will be a little more subtle, subtle. Yeah. Uh, than the palm of violets, because that's quite a, yeah. uh, obvious, obvious. I would say anyway. No, I, I agree. do like palm of violets. So do I. And we know sometimes you pick it up in, the, in wines. Yeah, you can, yeah. 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 Well, this one, we're certainly you will certainly pick it up in this one. Okay. So we'll we're, we're, we're see you in part two, where we're going to taste the... Uh, rose? Rose Prudence. <laughs> the Prudence. Flavour gin. <laughs> we'll see you there. Cut that strong. <laughs> see you there. <laughs> chin, 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 chin.